Hi guys, I hope you are having an amazing day and Assalamu alaikum to my Pakistani followers. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the 10 best things to do in Karachi based on my experience. As probably you know, I spent quite a lot of time there. My husband is from Pakistan, Karachi, and I'm going to share with you that what are the 10 things I enjoy doing there the most. Stick through the whole video, not to miss any details. Before we start counting the 10 best things to do in Karachi, please pause it for a moment and let me know in the comments that according to you, what is the best thing to do there? And at the end you could compare that, was it on the list of what I said or was it something different? Maybe you are going to give me a very new idea that the next time when I go there that I could try it out as well. So number 10, according to me, the 10th best thing to do in Karachi is to go to the sea view. I went there, you can go and enjoy some camel rides, you can walk around on the seaside, you can also see a snake dancing show. We went there the last time and the person started to whistle and the snake came out from the box and for the first time in my life I saw a snake dancing. For me that was very unique. And the camel ride, of course, it's amazing. Here in Europe, there are no camels at all, maybe one or two in the zoo. And there they were all around, they were just surrounding me and I was riding it on the seaside. So it was an amazing experience. Number nine, it is the Do Daria. We went there to a restaurant and enjoyed the meal a lot. It is very special as you can sit there in the restaurant and right next to you there is the sea. At the evening it is just very calming to see the sea waves next to you while you are having your meal with some candlelight and some music. It was mesmerizing. Luderia is a local food lover's paradise built right along the seashore. There are numerous restaurants and cafes here to choose from, serving all type of uh, fare. Number eight, it is the Copemonza beach. We went there with a friend of ours and I totally got that uh, Greek vibe. There were some flowers growing on the buildings. It looked amazing. We made a lot of pictures and some candy shots over there. The uh, Kopemonza or Mount, as it's locally called, is a beach near Karachi, surrounded by a hill where people can climb and get a great view of the horizon and the dark blue sea. It is a museum of the Pakistani Air Force. Uh, we saw there a lot of planes and pictures and we read a lot of stories about like the heroes of Pakistan. If you like aircraft, then the Pakistan Air Force Museum is a must visit. It is home to many aircrafts like planes and jets and radars and weaponry that have been used by the Pakistan Air Force through the years, especially during the 1965 war with India. Nearby there are uh, the World War I and II scale models and some modern planes on the display as well. There are also food options in the main park and many places to relax in the gardens. For example, what I personally really enjoyed is that in the garden where uh, the food options were, there was also a small fun fair where there were a lot of rides and I, I absolutely love fun fairs so we just had a lot of fun riding and enjoying after we educated ourselves by reading the descriptions in the museum part. Number six is the Chokondi tombs. We went there, it was a bit of a ride, but it was totally worth it. It is an ancient place, like all the tombs stayed there for so many hundreds of years and it just gave this special feeling that you can be there, you can experience history from so close. It is an ancient graveyard and UNESCO World Heritage Site that houses tombs of the ancestors of local tribe. The intricate make of these graves is its most attention-grabbing feature, with carving and design uh, typical of its region scene. 
The origins of this necropolis are established to range between the 15th and the 18th century. Number 5 is the Ibn Qasim Park. We went there, we had a romantic walk with my husband. The sun was setting, it was like behind the mosque. It looked absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoyed walking around there. And the Ibn Qasim Park is set on 130 acres of land. This park is the largest in the city and it is visited by over 10 million people each year. There is also a turtle pond and a rose garden found within its gates. My fourth favorite place is the Port Grand, being among the few upscale open air food establishments by the sea. Port Grand is a great place to try different cuisines that are offered by many of its restaurants and parlors, all the while viewing the sun as it sets into the ocean. It is absolutely beautiful. We went to have dinner there in one of the restaurants, and there are also some buggy rides and karaoke. It's just really worth to walk around there in the evening. My third favorite place is the turtle spotting beach. It is really special because you can actually see turtles hatching there. In front of your eyes you can see the baby turtles crawling in the sand and you also have the chance to have some boat ride on the sea. It is a really fun place to go. Not only are winters a great time to visit Karachi because of its mild cool, cold weather but also because is the time when you can spot turtles at the turtle beach. This beach is home to green sea turtles that come out to lay their eggs in the sand. It's also a good picnic spot. I didn't try picnicking, but we did see the turtles and we did ride the boat. The second most visit place is the Empress Market. You can really feel the tradition there, like you see the, the things that people actually make or grow and as you are there you can just really feel like you are part of Karachi, you are like in the middle, like in the vibe. I really enjoyed going there and also the bird market right next to it. It is a lot of fun, uh, probably don't go alone if you are a foreigner, but just going there with a the local who can guide you around. It is absolutely something that you should experience. The Empress Market is a colorful but chaotic market that sells everything and anything. It's a cool attraction to visit early in the morning to avoid rush hour. All imaginable groceries, live animals and pets, textiles, stationery and many other things can be bought in the foyers and interiors of the colonial era structure. The building is named after Empress of India, Queen Victoria. And finally we arrive to the number one thing what you absolutely have to visit when you are in Karachi. It is like the foundation of the culture, of the country. It is the Mazar of Kuwait, the Mausoleum. The pure white marble facade of the museum is not sight to miss when in Karachi. The mausoleum is a resting place for the country's founder, or in Urdu, Quaid Muhammad Ali Jinnah, I hope I pronounced it well. Its minimalist, done over a cube design, was inspired by the Samanid mausoleum in Uzbekistan. We went there, it is absolutely beautiful, the garden around it is also very neat. There are like fountains, plants, the garden is gorgeous, and the mausoleum is clean, you can feel peace there and just like as you go there you just feel like a lot of respect for this man. So absolutely you have to go if you are visiting Karachi. So thank you very much for watching 
and I hope I taught you something that you could uh, find this video useful, you learn maybe some facts or you just enjoyed hearing about your country if you are from Pakistan. So don't forget to let me know that what are the other things what you think we should be visiting when we are going to Karachi, what is your favorite place to go to. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and sign up to my channel with the bell icon so that you can get notified anytime I publish a new video. So I hope you are going to have an amazing day and see you in the next video. Bye!